dancers from MacArthur Middle School performing at this year's Martin Luther King Jr. birthday observance. Hello and welcome to the first Mead Week of 2019. I'm Brian Spann. More from Club Mead in a moment. Also this week, some road work news, transition assistance hiring days coming up, plus a couple of reminders from MWR. These stories and much more, but first, following up on a Facebook town hall in September and in response to media reports concerning Army family housing, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Eric Sprague conducted two face-to-face -face town halls last Friday. He was joined by representatives from Corvius Military Living, which provides Army privatized housing on Fort Meade, representatives from the Fort Meade Housing Office, and RCI, the Residential Communities Initiatives Program Office. The town halls were held at 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. at the Potomac Place Neighborhood Center and provided an opportunity for Colonel Sprague to gain a direct understanding of the housing challenges and to determine the steps going forward. One of the steps is the formation of several focus groups to identify issues and gaps in the housing process. If you did make it to the town hall and you're interested in the focus groups, contact us right here at the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office. Meanwhile, the Defense Information School and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Employment Office hosted this year's Martin Luther King Jr. observance at Club Mead. MacArthur Middle School provided several musical numbers, starting with the school orchestra, continuing with a dance number, and concluding with the school choir. This year's guest speaker was Reverend Stephen Tillett, pastor of the Asbury Broadneck United Methodist Church in Annapolis and the president of the Anne Arundel County branch of the NAACP. Till it also served in the Air National Guard and Air Force Reserve as a chaplain. He directed his remarks to those same young people that performed during the ceremony. I am counting on this new generation of freedom fighters, our young people, to stop falling for that okie doke, to refuse to accept business as usual, and to become patriots like Dr. King in challenging our nation to aspire to their better angels. Your task, young people, is to not settle for anything that seems or feels unjust, that just isn't right. You don't have to take it. And you don't have to wait until you're almost on Social Security to do anything. Hello. <laughs> Dr. King was 26 years old when he became the pastor at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. And I'm looking for you you young people, to make the difference. You've gone to school with each other, you've played sports together, you've lived in neighborhoods together, you understand your common humanity. I'm looking for you all to step up and make the dream a reality. In other news, major construction started this week on Maryland Route 175 as you approach Maryland 295. Baltimore Gas and Electric is relocating a major gas line near the 175-295 interchange. Flag persons, concrete barriers will guide motorists through the work zone. You can expect delays through this area until early February. Officials say that nearly 20,000 vehicles use this section of 175 every day, so they're encouraging you to allow extra commuting time and to consider using Maryland Routes 100 or 32 as alternatives. Elsewhere, a reminder from the Fort Meade Soldier for Life Transition Assistance Program. They're hosting an Employer Day hiring event on Thursday, January 31st from 11 to 1 at the McGill Training Center. You're asked to bring updated copies of your resume. The Employer Day is an opportunity to practice job search skills, but at the same time, participating employers will be actively interviewing, hiring, and providing feedback. You can contact the Transition Assistance Program at 301-677-9871. In MWR News, youth sports registration for the spring season has begun. There's baseball, flag football, soccer, and lacrosse for the three to four year olds. In addition to those sports, older kids can also enjoy cheerleading, ready, set, run, that's a track and field program, tennis, and beach volleyball. For more information, call Youth Sports at 301-677-1179. And finally, on this first midweek of the year, we're down to the Final Four in the NFL. Who will end up in the Super Bowl? We don't know yet. But you can find out at this year's Spa Super Bowl party at the Lanes. The Super Bowl is February 3rd, and the festivities start at 6.30 p.m. It's free and open to all single-service members, all ranks, all services. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.